Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to identify elements in your web testing. When using Selenium to library, you can locate or specify elements in different ways. For more information on how to locate or specify elements, please open the website robotframework.org slash selenium to library slash doc slash selenium to library dot html file. Selenium to library provides various locator. You can use element ID if ID is present. You can use element name, xpass, dom, link, partial link, css, jQuery, sizzle, tag, and the default. Let's look at them one by one. Identifier you can use click element identifier equal to my element this is the element you are going to use in your test automation identifier matches by id or name attribute when using id ID equal to my element matched by ID attribute using name name equal to my element matches by name attribute in web automation testing it is very essential to have static ID or name for web elements when we have static ID and name, it's very easy to find the element or organize elements on your test automation framework. Next one is XPass. XPass equal to forward slash forward slash and this is the example. Please remember that when using XPass, you need to include the two forward slash after the equal sign and xpass matches with arbitrary xpass expression to make it clear that xpass is very vulnerable to page changes so in order to use xpass effectively you need to use different XPass technology to generalize your XPass so that any dynamic changes don't affect existing test framework. Next one is DOM. DOM equal to document.image56. It's document object model. When you have multiple elements on your web page and when you cannot specify or locate the element you can use the element sequence on this example let's say you have a hundred images you want to click on the image 56 or different images you use document that image and bracket and the image sequence or index and link link equal to my link and matches anchor elements by their link text when you have link on your web page this is very important just use link equal to the active link next one is partial link uh, it's basically when your link text is very lengthy 
then you can use partial text to match the partial link. CSS cascading style sheet and CSS equal to uh, div dot my class and basically it is uh, the tag and class matches by CSS selector if your website is using a lot of jQuery you can use jQuery equal to div dot my class matches by jQuery sizzle selector you can also locate or specify element by using tag uh, tag equal to div please remember that when you have multiple tag with the same name this tag locator doesn't work so you need to specify which tag or which element you need to manipulate and last one is a default default equal to page and the element among these locators, ID, name, xpath, and link, partial link, are preferred element locating techniques in robot framework test automation. Now let's see an example. On this page, the HTML code represents the login username text field, login password text field, and submit button on the Mahara ePortfolio demo site. To identify the login username text box, we can use ID equal to login dash login dash username. And for password, we either can use the ID or name equal to login dash password and for the submit button we can use id or we can use xpath now let's see a live example this is the mahara e-portfolio demo site over test cases, user types in username, types in password, and click on login button, and assertion on the logout link. You can use Selenium IDE to record your test steps, or you can use inspect element on Firefox to check the element HTML code. So for the username, this is the ID, and for the next element, the password, we expand the div and login password. And next one is the submit button, login submit container. So we can use ID or we can use xpass now let's uh, look at how selenium identifies or locates the element in this example i have pre-installed selenium ide on firefox you can install selenium ide from seleniumhq.org website now let's look at the element uh, identifier in this example for the username I assigned ID equal to login dash username when I click find the screen blinks with yellow background it means this identifier is working fine now let's look at the password field for password I use a name field now click on find now the password field
blinks with yellow background. For the submit button or for the login button, we can directly use ID. To teach you how to use XPath, here I drafted an XPath. XPath equal to div input ID attribute ID login submit. If I click find, now it found the login and this login button is highlighted. We can also check XPath with XPath checker. Let me show you an example. When using Firefox, you can download a plugin. It's XPath Checker. So right click on the element login and view XPath. This XPath Checker is displayed. Now XPath already took just the ID. So let me paste the handcrafted XPath. Now it's the same. So if I remove some other components, let's say if I remove, put just the div, it displayed the whole page. So if I add the handcraft XPath, it only displays the element. And the result is one match found. So this XPath can find the element exactly. So as explained in this example, when using robot framework Selenium 2 library, you can use ID, name, XPath or other identifier to find your element and do operations on it. If you have any questions, or if you need more examples, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. And for the robot framework Selenium 2 library documentation, you can visit the website robotframework.org. Thanks for watching.